Guess what? Samsung isn't ditching the S Pen just yet. That's right, despite all the rumors, the upcoming Galaxy S26 Ultra will still feature a built-in S Pen slot. This leak comes from the ever-reliable ICE universe, who even shared an image of what's believed to be the S26 Ultra. The design looks a little different this time, with noticeably rounder corners giving the Ultra a softer, more modern look while keeping its signature S Pen functionality intact. But the leaks don't stop there, let's talk cameras. Both ICE Universe and Roland Quant have revealed some juicy details about Samsung's upgrades. Out of the four rear cameras, three are getting big improvements. The star of the show is the 200 megapixel main sensor, which now comes with a wider f/1.4 aperture. This means it can capture 47% more light than the Galaxy S25 Ultra shooter, leading to brighter, sharper, and clearer shots, especially in low light conditions. And that old 10 megapixel 3x telephoto sensor, gone. Samsung is replacing it with a 12 megapixel S5 K3 LD sensor which you might recognize from the company's foldables and some of its mid-range devices. It's a big step up that should bring more detail and better performance at that 3x zoom level. So here's the bottom line, the Galaxy S26 Ultra is keeping the S Pen, refining its design, and packing some serious camera upgrades. Samsung may not be reinventing the wheel, but these are meaningful changes that could make the Ultra even more appealing to power users and camera lovers alike. What do you think? Are you excited for the S Pen's return, or are the camera upgrades the real highlight here? Drop your thoughts in the comments, and don't forget to like and subscribe for more S26 updates coming your way. Today we're diving into the latest Galaxy S26 leaks, and this time we've got some fresh renders that give us our clearest look yet at Samsung's upcoming flagship lineup. According to the leaks, Samsung will be launching three models early next year, most likely in January or February we're looking at the Galaxy S26 Pro, the super slim Galaxy S26 Edge, and of course, the top of the line Galaxy S26 Ultra. Now one of the biggest design changes is happening on the back. Samsung seems to be moving away from the flush mounted camera lenses we've seen in recent years. Instead, the renders show a raised camera module, which gives the S26 lineup a bolder, more distinct look. And when it comes to the Ultra model, Tipster Ice Universe has reportedly shared the full dimensions, allowing us to compare it directly to this year's S25 Ultra. The S26 Ultra is said to feature slightly rounder corners, while keeping the same minimal bezels that people loved on the S25 Ultra. But here's where it gets a little confusing. On paper, the S26 Ultra is rumored to be a bit taller and wider than the S25 Ultra. Yet when you look at the side-by-side -side renders, the new Ultra actually looks shorter and narrower so either the measurements are off or the renders might not be perfectly accurate. Either way, the Galaxy S26 Ultra is shaping up to be another beast of a device, with some subtle but noticeable changes in design that will set it apart from its predecessor. So what do you think? Do you like the new raised camera module or do you prefer the flush design Samsung has been using? And do you think the renders or the dimensions are more trustworthy here? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. And as always, make sure to like, subscribe, and hit that bell so you don't miss out on any upcoming Galaxy S26 updates. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. We're now going to run through the full specs, design, and expected pricing to help you decide which one is right for you, so hit subscribe now, and let's dive right into it. First up, the standard Galaxy S26. It's coming with a 6.2-inch dynamic A and OLED display with improvements in brightness and color accuracy. We get a 120Hz display with HDR10+, and a resolution of 1080x2340. The display will be protected by Gorilla Glass Victus 3. For selfies, it has a 12-megapixel punch hole camera. On the rear, there's a triple camera setup consisting of a wide, ultra-wide, and telephoto, but the exact sensors are still unknown. It'll be powered by the Snapdragon 8 Elite Gen 2 chipset and comes with 12GB of RAM and up to 512 gigabytes of storage, UFS 4.0. The battery is a 4000 mAh unit with 25 dB fast charging and 15 dB wireless charging. It will also support 5G, Bluetooth 5.4, Wi-Fi 7, and ultra-wideband support. The phone will launch with One UI 8 based on Android 16 and is expected to start at around $800 in January 2026. Next we have the Samsung Galaxy S26 Plus, which may also be known as the S26 Edge. 
This one will come with a 6.7-inch dynamic A and OLED display with similar improvements in brightness and color accuracy. You'll get a 120Hz display, HDR10+, and a resolution of 1440x3120, protected by Gorilla Glass Victus 3. There's a 12-megapixel punch hole camera for selfies. The rear setup includes a dual camera system with a wide and an ultra-wide camera, though the exact sensors are still under wraps. It's also powered by the Snapdragon 8 Elite Gen 2 and will come with 12GB of RAM and storage options of 256GB or 512GB UFSS 4.0. The battery is a 4900mAh unit with 45 DD fast charging and 15 DD wireless charging. It will support 5G, Bluetooth 5.4, Wi-Fi 7, and ultra-wideband. This model will launch with One UI 8 based on Android 16 and is expected to be priced from $1,000 in January 2026. Finally, we have the premium model, the Samsung Galaxy S26 Ultra. This one features a 6.9-inch dynamic A and OLED display, again with improvements to brightness and color accuracy, 120Hz refresh rate, and HDR10+, with a resolution of 1440x3120 and it will be protected by Gorilla Glass Armor 3. There have been reports suggesting that this could feature the first ever under-display camera on an S-series phone, likely an 8-megapixel under-display selfie camera. On the rear, it will come with a quad camera setup featuring wide, ultra-wide, telephoto and periscope lenses, but the exact sensors are still unknown. The phone will be powered by the Snapdragon 8 Elite Gen 2 in all regions and will come with 12 gigabytes of RAM and up to 1 TB of storage, UFSS 4.0. It's packing a 6000 mAh battery with significant improvements to fast charging. As expected, it will also support 5G, Bluetooth 5.4, Wi-Fi 7, and ultra-wideband. The S26 Ultra will launch with One UI 8 based on Android 16 and is expected to start at $1,300 in January 2026. Overall, it's looking like the Samsung Galaxy S26 series is going to be an exciting release, especially if the Ultra becomes the first S-series phone to feature the under-display camera. Samsung seems to be continuing their strategy of improving and refining their phones, rather than completely redesigning them for the sake of it. And just like all new phones, there will be a major emphasis on software, with AI playing a huge role in the user experience. The launch is still a bit far off, but we can expect plenty of information to leak as we approach the release date. Make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss out on the latest updates.